Joe with Jolie Farms. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here today with my friends Anita and Santiago, and we're in their restaurant, Restaurante Rustica. Thank you, Anita, for having us here today. Gracias a ustedes por estar aquí. Gracias. And Santiago is her husband. Uh, how long have you been married now, Santiago? Um, 15 years now. 15 years. How has she put up with you that long? <laughs> <laughs> Even I don't know that. <laughs> and they have a beautiful daughter. How old is your daughter? Nine. Nine, yes. And she got all of her mother's looks. She does. <laughs> Good. So, Anita, can you tell us today, how long have, uh, were you born here in Vilcabamba or where were you born? Naciste en Vilcabamba, donde naciste? Aquí, nací en Vilcabamba. She's born in Vilcabamba, yes. Ah, so you've lived here all your life, Toro? Sí. Toda mi vida he vivido aquí en Milcabamba. Perfecto. Yeah. En Santiago, where were you born? En Lima. En Lima, Perú. Lima, Perú, yes. Ah, fantastic. You got here as fast as you could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I lived here for uh, pretty much close to 18 years. So, uh, Anita has started a wonderful little restaurant here called Rustica, and uh, we really like it. Anita, can you tell us how you got into the restaurant business? ¿Cómo entraste al negocio de restaurante? ¿O hace cuánto tiempo? Bueno, luego de haber trabajado 16 años en el restaurante, eh, he decidido poner mi propio negocio y empezar con lo mío. So she started actually 16 years ago to work in restaurants and finally one year ago she made the decision to open her own restaurant. Fantastic. Um, I know she worked for a while at La Seca restaurant, where the one your mama owns, and um, uh, she used to make wonderful pizzas there, and now she brings the good pizzas here, yeah? Correct. So, it's, can, Anita, can you tell us all the different food that you offer here on your menu? Pues contarnos este, qué tipo de comida vendes acá? Bueno, tengo para todos los gustos, para, tengo hamburguesas de carne, de pollo, vegetarianas, Sándwiches vegetarianos, de pollo, de carne, o grabs, pizzas, ensaladas también, vegetarianas, de pollo. So she, she has a lot of choice. Um, she has uh, fast food, hamburgers, uh, wraps, um, sandwich, all kinds of sandwich, uh, pizzas, uh, but also salads and vegetarian food. Oh uh, yeah, so there are some vegetarian options. That's always a good thing. Yes. So, um, I got to tell you, my favorite thing on the menu, and I haven't tried everything here, um, but my favorite thing is she has a chicken sandwich. Now, in the U.S., we would call these chicken breasts or butterfly, and then done on a uh, flat top grill. Um, here, they would call it a plancha. And so, this chicken breast is put on to a baguette, and the baguette is slightly toasted, which gives it some nice crunch. And then Anita has started putting on there, especially for me, uh, a, um, um, what's the uh, spice called? Uh, chipotle. Chipotle mayonnaise. Yes. Uh, yeah, chipotle mayonnaise with a little bit of the smoked paprika in it. Yeah. Oh, mucho, muy bueno. Yeah, mucho sabor. So uh, that's one of my favorite sandwiches here. I really do like it. And you'll find Santiago and I out front at the benches having a beer and sharing a sandwich here. True. It's always a lot of fun. So, um, Anita, what would you like to tell your customers about your restaurant? ¿Qué quisieras este, contarle a tus clientes de tu restaurante? Bueno, que es, mi, es acogedor y que tenemos comida variada para todos los gustos y que nos visiten y podemos prepararles su so gustos lo que desean. <laughs> yes, so uh, she is welcoming people to come to her restaurant. She has a lot of different food again, but she has very good prices too. So you're welcome to pop in anytime and try it out. And so, um, yeah, she, I would say it's a very reasonably priced menu. Um, certainly uh, in that affordability range is there. Um, um, Anita, um, what hours are you open? Horas de atención? ¿Cuál es tu horario? Por ahora estamos desde las once y media, doce, hasta las nueve de la noche. So, her hours go from 11, 11.30 to 9, probably weekends, 9.30, 10 o'clock. 
Oh wow! Yeah, so yes, yeah, a little later, yeah. Yes, correct. And the days? Todos los días por ahora. And she's open seven days a week. She doesn't close a single day. So a lot of the expats here have told me that on the weekends sometimes it's a little hard to get in because they are crowded with the Lahanos that come to town on the weekends. Um, so I suggest you come either earlier in the day or during the week, you know, if you really want to come in and enjoy this place. It's very crowded here on the weekend sometimes, yeah? It is, yes, true. Especially during holidays, we have Carnival coming up in two weeks. Uh, 20th of February. The 20th of February. Those days, yes. So about three it's, weeks, it's yeah. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Fantastic. That'll be super busy then. And you'll be open during Carnival? ¿Vas a abrir en Carnaval? Sí, vamos sí. a abrir yes. en Carnaval. Perfecto, perfecto. Well, we just thank you so much for having us today. Folks, I hope you will come and give this restaurant a try. This is a wonderful place. And it's sandwiched between two of my other friends, so it's kind of uh, uh, out of sight sometimes, but it's very close to the church. It's just not even a half a block up. And I think um, if you, most people know where the plastic store is. And so if you just walk up a few feet from the plastic store, this restaurant is wonderful. Seats about 20, 30 people uh, fairly easily. And they make a lot of the food fresh right here every day. And so you'll find the quality to be extremely good. So please come and visit my friends Anita and Santiago here at the restaurant. I know you know Santiago from uh, Nick Basie's uh, real estate website. He and Nick are partners in that. And uh, I hope you'll come and get to know Anita as well because she is definitely a wonderful person who makes a wonderful food, puts a lot of passion into it. Thank you, and we hope we'll give you a, a thumbs up on this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Ciao. Gracias. Gracias.